This knife has absolutely, completely blown my mind. It, it, it just has. So this is from VC Edge, and it's called The Interface. Jason Van Camp is the uh, owner, maker, uh, and he lives down in Southern California in the Palmdale-Lancaster area, which I thought was interesting because I lived in the Palmdale-Lancaster area for a number of years, a num quite a number of years ago. Uh, so Gary, my good friend, ordered this. He was able to get in on a drop, and I've been talking to Jason on and off for... I don't know, six, eight months from his last drop, uh, trying to get one to show you guys. As my other buddy Joseph talks amazing stuff about it, and I understand why. I totally get it now. This knife, I think, is a little bit like the Hellraiser. You see the Hellraiser, you think, ah, oh, that's weird, I, I, it's cool, it's weird, whatever. But like, until you handle it, you don't quite get it, right? Alex from the Knifebox channel, I loaned him that, that particular Hellraiser and he didn't quite get it until he held it. And then he instantly bought a uh, mid-tech version. <laughs> so I think this knife from VC Edge is very similar to that. You may see it, you may think it looks cool or a little weird or unusual, but until you handle it, you don't get it, okay? So it comes in a cool little box, and it comes with a, you know, little nylon microfiber type uh, baggie, and then it has some information, okay? Don't let the blade steel fool you, because that's the secret sauce, and we're going to talk about that. These kind of are not always available, I mean, he's always making them, but he does drops, right? And they sell out pretty quickly and they run about $770, okay? Depending on some options and some things, depending on how he made those ones. So I think it's totally worth it. Uh, he and I are talking. Uh, he's There's a few tweaks that I would like to see. And in talking to him, one of them he already knew about and he plans to do in his next version coming out in January, maybe January, February, I think he said. Uh, the other one, he took my opinion and says, yeah, I can look at that. Um, but that's it. I had two things that were not perfect for me, but I had a lot of things that were really good. So. Let's just zoom in and take a look at this thing first, and then we'll talk about the specs, okay? <laughs> it's carbon fiber. This is the uh, woven carbon fiber, and he's done other variants of carbon fiber. All titanium hardware, titanium pivot, titanium hard, uh, screws, titanium backspacer, they're all individually serialized. And if I didn't mention it, it's called the interface. I think I did, but hey, um, they're all individually serialized, which I think is very cool. So if you can go on his website and you can scroll through and you can see almost all the variations he's ever made. Titanium lock bar, titanium 3D milled clip with a carbon fiber back uh, lock side. Steel lock bar insert. And the blade is where we get to the special secretness. It's a carbon fiber blade body with M390 cutting edge. Now this is not carbon fiber over the blade. Th this is just carbon fiber, okay? I mean, it, it tripped me out. I was confused by that also. But I have a little magnet here, and it's uh, ceramic bearings and whatnot. But so there is, there's some magnetism there. The blade is obviously magnetized, but not the back of the blade. 
Like it legit is not. This this is carbon fiber. It it's a freaking trip. And it's I don't know how they make that work. And I didn't ask him for the secret sauce. Uh, it's his proprietary way of adding the M390 cutting edge to the carbon fiber uh, blade body, if you will. And there is no seam. Like with your nail, you, you can't feel a seam. You can just feel the material change. So what this does is this makes this one of the lightest knives in a full size, I would call this, configuration that weighs in at 1.7 ounces. Yes, 1.7 ounces. And I just did a video, I think it dropped yesterday, of the North Arm that is super light also, 2.7 ounces. So 2.7 ounces and it's shorter. It is thicker in your hand. feels maybe a little bit more like a, a handful, if you will. But 1.7 ounces. Absolutely solid lockup. Steel lock bar insert. And it's got a very unique, which I like, sound that I've never heard before. But it's very reminiscent of the Stan Wilson non-flipper flipper. So let's see if that comes up, if you can, if it picks up on camera. It's a double click. And so kind of to demonstrate what happens is when it breaks the detent ball, there's a click. And then when it locks up, there's a, there's the lockup. So if I don't let it lock up, You're hearing it break the detent ball and then lock up. It's very cool, very satisfying. Like, I, I can't stop flipping this thing. Not that it needed to be broke in, but Gary, this thing's going to be broken in when you get it because I can't stop fidgeting with this knife. Yeah, it's just amazing. So the two things I had a had a, a comment about to Jason was one, the pocket clip is very strong. It's too tight for me. And you know, I, I, I pick on pocket clips a lot. And I told Jason this and he says, yeah, I know. I've kind of gotten used to it personally, him, because it makes sure that it's super retained in your pocket. But... He has worked out in his next run to pocket clip to be about 20 to 30% looser, if you will. So I'm super excited about that. So I told him, I think I want in on that next run because the pocket clip for me here, it just doesn't work for me. I mean, it works like I can get it in and out of my pocket, but it just mentally doesn't work for me. I, I wouldn't carry this around a lot because of that. Okay. The other thing I noticed is there's some sound when you disengage the lock bar. I don't know if that's going to come up on film or not, but let's see. Actually, let me go up here by the mic. So that is on purpose, he said, because there's a little bit of friction fit here of the lock bar and the body to give it some support in here. So he knows that that's a thing. And what he's going to maybe do is polish those two surfaces. So maybe it, it, it'll still be a little bit of a friction fit, but it may move smoother and not have a noise. Okay, so he is looking at that. I don't know if that's a big problem for anybody else that has them. My buddy Jason, I think, or uh, my buddy Joseph. <laughs> Jason's my, my new buddy who makes these. My buddy Joseph, who's loaned me in things before, he has two of these. So he'll probably chime in about the sound. So let's dive into the specs really quick since I've rambled way too freaking long now. 
four and three quarter, just a hair over four and three quarters closed, just shy of eight and a half. The blade is 3.6 inches, 3.6 inches, and it weighs less than two ounces. It's amazing. The edge is the same exact, 3.6 ounces or 3.6 inches. Blade steel, M390 and carbon fiber. The blade thickness is 0.118. Overall thickness is 0.475. The Sharpie and a AAA Olight i3T weighs in at 1.8 ounces. 1.7, 1.8. I was trying to find something that was comparable. So th there you go as your, as your weight comparison. The other thing to note is Jason knows what he's doing. He literally started these in 2019. He made the very first one. So it's been like three years. And he's got it basically perfect. Needs a little work on the pocket clip. But that was not me telling him he already knew that. I'm not the smartest guy. He knew that. So... In three years, if he's come this far, I am going to be keeping an eye on him in another year or two to see where he gets to. I'm, I'm pretty impressed. So here it is next to Sharpie and a number two pencil. Here it is next to Spider Codelica. Now, Jason's an aerospace engineer. He um, did work down there in the Palmdale and Lancaster area. I was not in aerospace, but I did, you know, my normal day job down there for a number of years back in the early to mid 90s. I was down there. That was the D cell and the double A battery. This is the North Arm that Alex from the Knifebox channel loaned me. Since we pulled it out, the Hellra let's go with the black bladed Hellraiser to kind of more mimic. Let's go with the auto. To kind of more mimic the interface for size comparison. So and and for for weight comparison because this is just about the same size, right? You're roughly the same size. So in the auto version, the weight, as I back up here to get my scale, four point four ounces versus one point seven and you're basically the same size overall. The interface is a little bit thinner, but not totally th that much thinner. It is thinner. 1.7, 4.4. I think Jason nailed this. I am beyond tickled that Gary sent me this to check out. I've been wanting to check out one of these for a while. Um, so, I will be talking to Jason more. Trust me. I will probably try to get in on the next drop and pick one of these up myself and maybe do some different color anodizing. Maybe I can do... I've seen one on his website that was a Timascus lock bar. That might be what I need. I don't know. I'm going to talk to him and see what we can come up with for myself because I think I need to have one of these in my collection because it's just... So freaking cool. And I think I would just be a user for me. I could see myself grabbing one of these and just really rocking it all the time. Because it's that cool. It's that light. And it's that much of a conversation piece, I think. If you're out and about with knife guys or without knife guys. Even the non-knife people are going to realize that there's something special about that blade. And it'll start conversations. So, Jason, thank you for all the time you've taken to chat with me about this. Gary, thank you for sending it in because it's just a great honor. And thank you all for watching. If you've got one of these, let me know what you think down below. Am I just full of it? Is it not that great? Am I just living off some hype? I don't think so. I think it's pretty awesome. But let me know your thoughts. I will put a link to Jason's website down below. So please go check him out. I think you can sign up on a mailing list to get notified when the drops come. I think, I don't know. I don't remember that part. I've just been emailing directly with him. Uh, so there you go. 
Thanks a lot, guys. I know this ran long, but I just am so excited about this thing. I had a lot to talk about. So thanks for sticking in. I appreciate it. Have a great day.